seeing people's faces um, physically and um, you know the, the I'm a community organizer so um, those spontaneous conversations that we have when we bump into each other in community events um, we don't have any of that right now so I definitely miss the spontaneity of life of exchange of, of meaningful um, exchange and, and physical experience together I miss going to Commonplace Coffee on the north side, Mexican Moor Street. I miss sitting down in there. It was a special place for my family. It was my hangout place. I had a lot of meetings there. You know, it was just that special place. Um, we drank coffee a lot in our house, but it is, it is not the same. So I really miss Commonplace, Mexican Moor Streets. <laughs> What do I miss? I thought a lot about what I miss the most. And there's, of course, so many things. I miss my kids going to school in the morning um, <laughs> and that little bit of quiet time I get um, before I start working. I miss the library. Honestly, anyone who knows me knows my obsession with the library. And it was a big part of our family routine. Actually, the last place that I was socially before the shutdown um, was Wednesday, March 11th. I was at the Federal Street Library. We were doing um, our art classes that we do there. And then, so every Wednesday we would go to that library. Every Thursday we would go to Bellevue Library for Lego Club. And that had just as much a social aspect for me as for my kids. You know, I knew the other parents. We'd walk down, uh, get a crazy mocha, um, bring it back to the library, hang out. Um, and, you know, librarians are just amazing in shepherding learning and community. Um, and I think, honestly, the first place that, my kids will want to be when this is over is probably back at the library. So um, I am very fortunate um, in, in the line of my work as a mental health professional, I still um, are able to offer support to my patients. So that really definitely is keeping me going. Um, in terms of community building, at this time, more than ever, I feel like our community needs a lot more connection and support. So what's keeping me going is figuring out ways to fill those gaps, like what our community needs, even though um, we're physically distancing and continuing to foster that and make space um, via remote means for that. Garden Home Ministries have kept me going. Um, things have really picked up for us. I've been working really hard over the last two years, laying the groundwork for um, partnerships and collaborations and outreaches and trying to find a, a wonderful home for our ladies. In the last two months, we became a 501c3. That paperwork came in. We signed a lease for a seven bedroom, big, beautiful sunflower house. Um, we have websites now, like all these, all this amazing stuff has happened over the last two months. And it has just blown my mind that, okay, yeah, I'm stuck in a house, but I'm working more than I've ever worked before. And I can see the fruits of my labor, like just blossoming in front of me. So it's been really beautiful. My kids for sure. I mean, I know that that's maybe the expected or pat answer, but we have, we have four kids. They're eight, um, six year old twins and 21 months. And absolutely, they have anxiety and questions about the pandemic, about why everything is canceled. We've had a lot of, of trauma behaviors. I think a lot of kids are going to come out of this with some PTSD and some trauma behaviors, many kids. Um, but also, they're just kids, and so they compartmentalize things. So we might have those moments of complete panic, and then they're in the backyard pretending they're playing Jurassic Park. Um, you know, we did the panic thing of buying a trampoline, like half of America did um, once the shutdown started. Um, we're blessed with grandparents that helped us do that. And, you know, they can just totally compartmentalize in a way that adults cannot. So they can be in a complete panic one moment and living their best life the next moment. Um, and certainly there's days where we all need our space. And I um, ran away in my car um, and ate Wendy's chili in a parking lot on McKnight Road while my husband finished the schooling for the day, the panic schooling, homeschooling, whatever we want to call it. Um, but for the most part, they really show me that it's going to be okay. <laughs>